What is up guys, it is Games Revolution here. Now today I'm going to be showing you the best multiplayer loadouts for Call of Duty Ghost Extinction or if you want to be more specific, Nightfall. Now before I get into the classes, I want you guys to hit that subscribe button because it encouraged me to post more great content, tutorials, strategies, anything like that for you guys on my channel. Now, the first setup that we are going to talk about is the medic role. For your strategy, we will have two medics. This medic includes the medic class, the MP Gok pistol, the best pistol in the game. I'm going to recommend this for all classes. Armor piercing ammo, armor, sentry gun, and the riot shield. The reason I have all of these is because the armor piercing ammo, it allows you to take down rhinos, and since you have medic which will be healing people, It'll just help with the rhino process and all of that. And also, you have the armor because it helps with the actual uh, uh, keeping people alive. Because if you can keep them alive longer, you'll be able to survive longer. And since you're a medic, you'll be able to heal them from a distance faster. Uh, so you will be able to actually... Uh, they will be able to get healed faster because they will have more time to be alive. The, uh, the sentry gun is so that you can just have your back whenever you're doing stuff. It's just an extra man. I love it. And the riot shield is just in case you need to revive someone and you don't want aliens getting on your back. Now, the next one we have is the engineer class. I recommend this for all of these because it allows the drill to have more health. Especially in Nightfall, the drill se uh, seems to go down on health really, really fast. And I feel like if you get an engineer, you'll be able to survive a lot longer because you won't have to be putting yourself in a vulnerable position for the drill to go down. Now, I recommend the Gawk Pistol the explosive ammo, the team boosters, IMS, and the riot shield once again. I recommend the explosive ammo because I, in my opinion, is the best ammo in the game besides actually explo I mean, armor piercing ammo. Those are tied for about first. And the team boosters, these help you reload your guns faster and have a faster movement speed. The IMS is so that you can pr put it near the drill and protect it from aliens hopping on it so that way it will go down less easily. And finally, you want the riot shield again just in case you are the last man up and you need to revive someone. Our next one is our tank class. This one uses the tank, the gawk pistol, explosive ammo, armor, the vulture, and the riot shield. Now the reason you want to have this setup is because this is a really great strategy. This is also a really great one for solo. It allows you to get almost 200 to 300 health depending on if you have armor or not. The Gok pistol allows you, it's just the best pistol in the game. Explosive ammo, already went over that, it's really great. The armor I already went over as well, it just allows you to have even more health. And this is the guy that will be staying up the longest and trying to get as, most, as many kills as possible and stuff like that. Now, here's why I really do like this, because this actually has the vulture on it. Now, this vulture allows it to get your back, and to combine that with the riot shield, it provides a very effective way to stay up. And since you're the tank guy, you might be the guy that's the last one surviving, and you're going to need that vulture and riot shield combo, so you're able to revive them quick and effectively. And our final class is our last medic, our second medic, to be... Uh, uh, what's it called? Honest. Uh, but you used uh, the Gawk Pistol, Explosive Ammo, Feral Instrix, Sentry Gun, and Riot Shield. You are going to want to use this setup because I've already explained the Gawk, Explosive Ammo, but Feral Instincts. These allow you to move uh, way faster and see a lot of things through walls, sprint faster, increased sprint duration, and you also regenerate health faster. Combine this with our medic which allows you to revive players more quickly and also uh, move faster uh, and heal teammates from a distance it's an like unbeatable strategy and the sentry gun allows you to have an extra man and the riot shield is so that you can protect your back while reviving players now I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary on the best multiplayer loadouts I've sorta of explained how all of them work together to make one unstoppable force that you cannot reckon with well the aliens can't 
like deal with and you can beat extinction very fast and very easy with this setup now i hope you guys enjoyed this like i already said subscribe for more awesome content like this and i will see you guys in my next videos see you guys later bye dj go ahead and run it back we're dancing no stopping soon as they hear this they rocking all the way from china to boston from mexico to moroccans i got them dancing 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 got them in a trance like it's magic just that landmine explosive and that explosion is tragic so watch your step girl Cause when I walk in a room, I 